Hey folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. Today is Sunday. It's the it's the afternoon, late afternoon, early evening. I've been trying to go out while while the restaurants are shut down, just to kind of look around, see see what's going on around town. Uh, there's still people out. I, I got to tell you, I think just an initial impression, believe it or not, I think the restaurant uh, shutdown here is maybe going to be actually a little bit of a boon for the food carts, uh, the street vendors. I got something from a vendor. I had to wait in line. Uh, some of them are even doing delivery on some of the apps and stuff. So good for them. Uh, um, bad for restaurants. But anyway, today we're going to talk about a different kind of food delivery. So let's jump into that. I did a video over the weekend about the situation here. It's gone from bad to worse. But won't reiterate that. Restaurants closed. All that stuff closed. So we're going to be do doing more eating at home. So in light of that, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. A lot of people have asked... Well, what do what, what groceries cost and uh, things like your household items, things you need, they vary depending on where you get them. But today, given the situation, I think uh, we're just going to do some shopping at home. You can order everything you need online at really, I think, a pretty reasonable price. And I know what you're thinking, well, delivery, that's going to be expensive. Ah, uh, not really. It's going to be free. I'll show you. So we'll go up and we'll order a bunch of stuff and they'll deliver it <laughs> and then we'll see how the whole process goes and show you what that's like and how much it costs and you'll get an idea along the way what some of these things cost what they go for so and here we go so we're we're back up we're at the computer and what i'm going to use uh, for this little exercise today is the lotus uh the, the tesco lotus because i just like their interface better there's Big C, there's other ones that'll do this, but I just like the, the Lotus. Plus, I'm a member. I've already signed up for the card. So anyway, here's what it looks like. Let's go in, and you'll see right away. I'm going to show you. There's the website. First thing you see, at least today, I, I don't know that this is every day, uh, but for today, there's a code here, free delivery code, uh, LTXP70. There's another one uh, that you can save 155 baht, but you have to spend 2,500 baht out. I don't see myself spending 2,500 baht today. I don't need that much stuff. Probably more like 1,000, 1,500 something. So probably won't use that. But you just go in here and you start you start poking around and you see what we need. Um, there's some seedless grapes there. They look good. We'll get a kilo of those. So you you set how you set the quantity, the weight uh, for the fresh foods, and then you add it to your cart. So. It, while I do this, I, I, you don't need to, me to talk to you the whole, what everything I'm ordering, you, you can watch it. But I'll explain some reasons, uh, some maybe of the thought process behind this process and why that might be something that you want to do or why you, it may be something that uh, you need to do. So here we go. A couple reasons you might want to do this. Um, first of all, if you're buying a lot of stuff, you, if you're like me, I can't really carry that much on the bike, even with V on the back carrying a bag or something. Logistically wise, bringing it home is what I mean. Now, if you have a car, throw it in the trunk. Uh, but you're also looking at driving to the store. You're looking at the hassle, the traffic. You're looking at going in like under these times right now, all masked up, doing all your shopping in a mask, waiting in line, paying, carrying it out the whole nine yards all the schlepping it up to the room they're going to bring it right here to the unit so there there's multiple reasons you might want to do that what are the downsides well you don't get to see everything at the store they have an online catalog and that's what we're going through and that's not everything they have so if you're there you may see something that is the same category of something you want but might be a better buy they don't show you everything they're only going to show you what's online. That's all you can see. So you don't, I guess, selection. Just to narrow it down, selection isn't quite as good as what you might get if you're there in person. So there's drawbacks both ways. Now, price-wise, I don't see a difference in the price. I don't think they gouge you online. Now, some things you just want to still go and buy at the fresh market, like seafood. We'll go through seafood. If you want fresh seafood, I, I don't even think it's available. They have frozen or dried. 
Uh, but you can get fresh meats, veg, fruit. We'll go through all that and, 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 and we'll get some. We'll get some. Uh, but I think given the circumstances and for a general shopping of just kind of uh, household things that you'll need, you'll, you'll see some of these things. It doesn't matter where you buy them. I, I think, I think, I, I think, I don't see how you go wrong. And we're going to get free delivery today. Showed you the code. So, eh, it's only 70 by the about two, eh, less than $2.50, but it's free. So, I'll give the guy a tip still. Anybody that comes to delivery, whether it's food, if it's like a, the guys from Hungry Now, uh, they're super, super polite and professional. They, they bring the food. It's all be, always arrives piping hot if I order from a restaurant, and that's still going on. You can still do that, and we do that quite often, but I'll give those guys a tip. I usually give uh, about a dollar, so about 30 baht. This guy, I'll probably give a little bit more. It's a much bigger job. I'll probably give him a couple, two or three dollars, but that's up to you. It's not required to give a tip, but people always ask, do you give a tip and how much? Uh, tipping is just a nominal amount, but especially they, they like to see it. Who, who doesn't like to get a tip? And delivery guys, I kind of empathize with. Uh, I, I've done that job in the past myself, so I know it's I know it's nice to get a tip. So let's get back to ordering, and uh, we got a lot of shopping to do. My fingers hurt from all this shopping. <laughs> So here we are, we'll, we'll just browse down some things, some kind of general uh, use things like razors. Uh, I've, uh, there's all kind of different razors. I, I like these, I just kind of get the cheap ones. They, they're fine with me. Two in a pack for like 49 baht. It's like, I don't know, what, 75 cents a razor, something like that. So get a pack of those. A coffee, uh, lots of different kinds of coffee you can pick from. Uh, we, we like this, what's called three-in-one coffee. I don't do like the automatic drip or I realize there's a, there's, uh, Everybody has their own taste on that, but we like the three-in-one. It's quick, easy. Just boil the water up and, and add your coffee. So soup, maybe a can of tomato soup. That would be nice. Um, never know when you'll, when you'll want a can of tomato soup. Now, some of these things, you can, they have menus, and you can go into something, or you can search for a specific item, um, or you can go to a category. The, the menus have categories. So we'll go up here, uh, desserts, for example. Um, ice cream. I'm not going to order ice cream. I'm afraid that the ice cream would be melted by the time the guy got here. Probably that's not the case, but we'll get some of these uh, chocolate crackers. I like those. And uh, we'll look around and see. Uh, maybe a pack of cookies or something. Oh, there's some. These are uh, wheat crackers. I like those. Just little snacks. Little snacks to have at home. Uh, there's Oreos. Now, right there is a perfect example. Uh, 30 baht. For that sleeve of, of Oreo cookies, that's the same price in the 7-Eleven. It's the same price. There's no, there's no surcharge on that price um, for ordering online. So, bakery. One thing I'll tell you about bakery: a lot of the bakery items are not available for delivery till after 4 p.m. I, I'm not sure why that is, but it is a thing here. Lots of these items. Maybe they want to make sure they have enough for the for the customers in the store. But we'll, we'll just get some bread. I just want some simple bread. I like this kind. It's only like five slices in a bag, but it's really, it's like the better bread. And eggs, lots of different kinds of eggs. I think most restaurants would choose those medium eggs, the big packs of medium eggs. I like the large eggs, so I'm gonna order, um, I'm gonna order just like a dozen large eggs. And fabric softener, I know nothing about fabric softener. Let V pick this out, this is the one she wanted, this uh, purple, whatever it is. So that, that's what we'll get. We'll just get a couple of those. She goes through it quick. She's also informed me that she'd like to have some pork. Uh, so we'll get some raw pork. And I thought she wanted ground, but no, she wants loin. So same thing. We'll just select the, uh, the weight, get a kilo of that, and add it to the cart. And that'll be a kilo of pork loin. She can do whatever uh, she's going to do with it. So that's what our that's what our basket's looking like so far. So yeah, instant noodles. She wants some instant noodles too. She eats those with a all kind of stuff. I'll show you the seafood. I talked about the seafood. They don't really have fresh seafood on here. You can get frozen, like some frozen shrimp, but unless you're really dire, uh, <clears throat> things aren't that bad here yet. All right, so we're all, <laughs> we're all ordered up. Uh, I spent a total of 1,500 baht, 1,506, I think. Um, I'll show you everything we got. So that's right at uh, about $44, I think, for today's exchange rate. So it's 31 baht to the dollar right now. A little over 31. Anyway, about $43, $44 worth of stuff. 
You can decide if you think that's expensive uh, or, or cheap. It's going to depend on your frame of reference and where you live and how much things cost where you live. So I ordered right at 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. local time. When I finished and I checked out, it said my order would arrive between 10 and 11. So it's only an hour, about an hour, to one to two hours from time of checkout. And then I will, I will pay the guy at the door. So that's how you do it. That's simple, easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's wait for him to come and uh, then we'll get our stuff and then Bill will cook us up some vittles. <laughs> so the delivery just called. So the guy that's coming is actually from Food Panda. Uh, like that's the kind of the same guy that would deliver your takeaway food from a restaurant. So I guess they just kind of contract or hire that guy for a one-off delivery, in, my, in this case for my groceries. So um, he's in the building. I just sent V down to make sure he doesn't get lost uh, and can find his way up here because it's, uh, I, the guy was a little bit, uh, didn't know where we were. So he's on his way. Let's, let's, uh, let's see him, make sure he gets up here okay. Oh, grocery. <laughs> so, so one thing I didn't show you on the website, uh, when I originally went to check out, I had too many items. I was not eligible for an express delivery because the express deliveries use a, a guy like this and they come on a motorcycle. And of course, he's got a, a box or a trunk or whatever you call it on a motorcycle. But there is a limit, of course, to how much he can put in that. So I actually wouldn't let me check out. I had to actually subtract a couple items from my cart and then it said yes you're you're approved for express delivery so that's what we did so the food just came it is almost 11 30 so it was about two and a half hours from the time I I hit checkout on the, on the website and it was actually a half hour longer than what they had promised on the website but I, I don't mind they called a couple times because they had to make some minor changes in some of the products for example, I think the paper towel, the brand of paper towel that I ordered, they were out of that, so they substituted another brand. The aggregate result of that, the bill was about 40 baht higher, about a dollar, dollar fifty higher uh, than what it was due to the substitutions that they had to make for some of the products. But they also said they're very busy, so right now there's a lot of people doing this, so they're they're busy. So I, I don't mind the little extra weight, but. We'll be able to get all the food unpacked, and uh, I'll show you what we get, and then she'll, uh, she'll cook something up. I, I, I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. It's 11.30. All I've had to eat today was a banana. So there you go, we got our food delivered and a breakfast was made. So uh, along the way, like I said, I, I have gotten numerous requests from people about, hey, how much do groceries cost? Why don't you take us to the store with you? So I think that was maybe better. You can pause that along the way. Those prices are very indicative of what you will find right on the store shelves at all the major stores. The stores here, the major chains are extremely competitive. So I think that more than gives you a good idea. I think it really kind of kind of paves the way for you. So, hope that helped. Uh, the delivery uh, is, is an option, a good option. Uh, we had a couple substitutions, but it worked out really well. And I'm, I don't know. I'm happy we did it. I got a good breakfast out of the deal. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode, but I'm going to go ahead and leave this one off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now. Bye for now.